today we will uh, design our cooling plate for our project so first of all we'll start with the uh, uh, extruding the the base of the cooling plate from we will use the top uh, plane and then let's go with the center rectangular Okay, let's give it a dimension. So all of those are in millimeters, so we'll go with millimeters. Um, our inside was 12 centi by 12 centi, so we'll go with 120 by 120. Okay. And now let's extrude that. Okay, so now uh, let's extrude this uh, 120 by 120. Let's go from here. Insert, push, extrude. And uh, our thickness was uh, uh, 2.5, so we will go by 25 milli. Okay. So now we have our base. Let's go to the next step, which is the channels of the cooling uh, cooling plate. So this is a front view. Uh, first of all, let's go sketch. Okay, now we will choose normal rectangle. Okay. For example, let's go here. Okay, since now we have uh, eight uh, channels, here, we will go with the linear pattern, as you can see here. This is makes it easier, but we will not go with the x-axis. Instead, we will go with the y-axis, and we will reverse that. And now we have our channels, we just have to give them any, some good spacing in there. 25, now it's too long. 15. Oh. Let's try 12, maybe. Okay, let's just stick f with that for now. Okay. So now... Let's uh, let's give our uh, our reference. So five milli from the edges is good enough. So we'll change that to five milli, and then the spacing between each of them. Let's make it. Uh, uh, let's let's go from the other end and tell them we want this as a five also. Okay. Now you can see it's, it's much better than before. And from here, from there. Also, I think five is good. And from here, let's give it five as well. Okay, so we, now we have our our uh, path or channels where the water is gonna come in and, and go outside. So now, uh, as you can see, this is where the flow is going up, going inside and going outside. So the next thing is that we need to groove this, uh, this gap between them so that the water can go inside and go outside and flow inside. But first of all, let's Let's cut this. Let's go here, extrude cut. Okay. We will not cut it all the way, so let's get it uh, maybe 15 here. So half of the depth of our uh, base of cooling uh, plate. 
and here is our path for the flow. Okay, now. Now, let's go and make another sketch. Where we're gonna cut uh, the remaining for the flow of the fl our water or fluid. So here. And this, we have to customize. We have to cut it by ourselves, so let's go here. So since the water is gonna come from this area and go from that area, we'll have to follow the bath. So first of all, we have to cut this between the channels. Okay. Let's make it random now, and then we will give them a good uh, dimension again. So now let's check the dimension of those. I think uh, giving them uh, five by five is good. So let's let's see how much is that. It's five by twenty-five. So let's make it five. Okay, and it's fully defined now. We don't have to give it any, anything else. Let's go with the second. Last one. Five. Okay. So now, as you can see, this is where the flow is gonna go inside. I will cut it so that you have a clear uh, uh, vision of how is the flow is going inside. So let's go, cut, extrude. And we will keep the same uh, depth. Let's keep it 15 milli. Okay, so now, as you can see, our water is going to flow f coming from here until it's exit from this side, okay? So, let's see. Next, um, next uh, we will go with the, our holes. Let's make a hole so that the water actually have an inlet and outlet. So we need to cut from this uh, from this side. Let's go from here. And as you can see here, we cannot see anything. So we'll have to go with the hidden line. So as you can see, we are concerning only the first and the last one. So to make it easier, even for our holes, can go here, 
choose the center line. Let's draw like a, an X there. Okay, that's the first one. Okay. We made that center line so that we can make sure our um, inlet and outlet is exactly at the center. So let's make our holes there and give it a radius maybe equal to also 5 milli or I mean diameter for 5 milli but first let's, let's draw both of them and then we can give them a small dimension there okay so this will make it 5 milli and this one 5 milli as well okay so now we have an inlet and outlet so we have to cut this as well okay it doesn't matter how much you want to cut it because it's it will go inside with, the, with and interfere with the channel but if you want to be precise you can give them five millimeters because we made uh, our reference there for five millimeters, so let's make sure that's right. And, okay. So now let's go back to the solid field. And see. As you can see, that was perfect. Yeah. And now we have our base of um, cooling plates. Okay, so now we'll have to make a cover so that we can uh, we can uh, make uh, our hinge and uh, our lids for the inlet as well there. So let's see. Let's let's go with the hinge first. Okay. So what we can do here? Let's go with the sketch. Yeah, so sketch. Choose this. Okay. Let's go with the center so that we make sure that we are on the center as well. Okay. So let's see. This is where our cooling plate is gonna be uh, attached to the to the stand and to the port. So let's give this uh, maybe uh, one uh, forty by forty. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, so. Uh, the, you can see. So this is 40 by 40, yeah. and that is going to be our hinge, and you will see, I will make it clear for you, but first of all, this, this drawing, now let's continue with our hinge, let's extrude that, okay, let's give it uh, 100 milli, that's equal to 10 centi there. Okay. After that, um, let's. We can do two things, but uh, yeah, let's let's do that. We can round this so that we can see how it's gonna be aimed. So let's go find where is our. Let's go on a sketch. Let's choose the surface. Okay, let's make our hole there. 
our home, let's say that we need uh, we need 20, I mean 20 milli away, uh, it's going to be okay. So, it's our center. Let's, let's make that center. 20 cent, 20 milli away. So if we place the hole there, it's gonna be okay. Let's see. Okay, let's give it a diameter. 20 milli, I think it's, it's good. Okay. So now let's cut that. Don't have to go all the way. Not bigger size. It's supposed to be four. Okay. And that's our hole over there. So now let's go. Show the surface, the surface, and the surface. Let's fill it that. Okay, we're not fill it this way. So let's delete all of them and go again. Clear selection. Okay, so you see this this command right here to make it perfectly rounded. Let's go with the first face, this one. And the face that we want around, choose this one, and then the other end, and you see it's perfectly around. Okay, so now we have where well, the hinge is going to be for attached to the stand. Next. That, let's see. Can uh, can also make a fill like that. Okay. I think here uh, one milli is, is good enough. You don't have to make it that much. No, one milli is too low. So let's make it five. Okay, five seems okay. So let's go with the all the way. Okay, so now we need to make uh, our tubes for our uh, for our inlet and outlet. So uh, okay. let's go there. again to the same side. We we'll have to sketch again. In order to make the tubes easy, you can, instead of sketching two times, you can sketch, okay, this, this first one, and then this is the other one, and I will tell you why I made two, two circles over there, but first let's do the same over here. Okay, let's make it like that. Now we're gonna gonna give it a smart dimension. So let's say that our inside equal to five. And that's the right thing. 
the outside supposed to be let's let's give it two millimeter in between so let's get say seven there is good enough again do the same thing here don't have to give it because we already draw over our inlet and outlet so it already took our five milli and now when we extrude you will see that a tube shape is gonna form there. And that's why we draw two circles of a, um, I mean, on each other. So 30 milli is, is good enough there. And that's, let's say uh, our tubes, our inlet tube and outlet tube. Now let's continue with uh, making our uh, such a cover so that we can stick our cooling plate with the shield method where the heat thing is gonna is gonna be. Okay, so let's start with this, and then. We don't have to choose the center rectangle, let's just go with the normal one. Let's go with both ends. Okay. And then we're gonna draw another one. We can make it random. No worries there. And say that if we say this is 120 by 120, let's make the other one 140 by 140, so we will have 20 uh, millimeters in between. So we can just give them, let's say, give me 20 millimeters. And we will make sure at the end. So let's make a gap equal to 20 millimeters on each side. Okay, this one we have to drag first. <laughs> and then let's give it a smart dimension. Now, if you look, it's 160. We want 140. So we'll have to decrease this. Let's make it 10. Sorry for that. Let's make it 10. By 10. Cons. We want overall to be. Uh, 140 by 140, so 20 milli was too much. So let's see now. From here to here, it's 140, okay. And from here to here, it's 140, okay. So now, let's extrude. At this time, we don't want this plate to go outside. We want to keep it as a holder for our... Um, cooling plate, so we'll extrude it on the, the first side. Let's say we want it to be maybe seven millimeters. There is okay, I think. okay. We will deal with this later. But this one looks okay and can hold our cooling plate good enough. So let's stick with that for now. Okay. After that, we'll have to make um, a hole so that we can attach a cooling a sheet metal I mean, on that surface. So let's sketch, make a hole there, just randomly make a hole. And we need four holes, so this time we can use both in X and Y. And 
Let's go on the reverse. Okay, so now you can randomly give them some numbers and then make a, a good reference. Let's say you want 25 maybe. Okay. And on the Y, let's say 125 as well. Okay, this seems okay. And now, let's give a smart dimension, see how much gap we have. Uh, 7.79. Yeah, first let's, let's see. This holds 9 is too big, I think, so we'll go with 4. Let's see how much. Still the same, so let's give it maybe six point three, three two. And then should be at the center of each. So let's say six point three two as well. Okay. I'm going to make it the same as well. And as you can see, it's fully defined now. Let's go to the other side. Six point three two. Then six point three two. And it's defined now. And the last one already took everything from the rest three, so we don't have to give anything. And now let's, let's make the hole, so we're gonna cut it as well. So since we give this thickness as a seven, seven is the right one, so let's just go and cut it. Now we can attach our sheet metal over this plate. Okay. Now, let's go back to our problem when we face this. As you can see here, our attachment plates and these tubes are interfering over this. So we'll have to get rid to, to get rid of this portion and again this portion so that we have a better uh, better bath for our floor okay so this this one as well must be manually so since this we we do have this one so we just can overwrite it there or better than do it that just draw a circle there. Okay. Just make a circle. Okay. So this is our circle. Now, okay. Interfere this line with this. Okay. So now we need this portion to be cut. So we'll get rid of this. Let's go ahead and trim that. Okay. So now we have this portion already drawn. Now let's go to the outside. Go back to the circle again. Okay. And let's make another circle as well. Okay. So now 
as you can see this part is the one that interfering so we'll have to cut this portion okay we don't need all of that so we'll trim this part as well let's just draw a line there okay join us with intersection so we're good let's go to the other side no, no, that, that is the I just saw before this class. Okay. So now we can trim the remaining. Okay. Now we will have this part this part as our cut extrusion since those two are identical we can save the time and just mirror this part to this side and that's it let's go ahead and do that mirror okay entities let's choose all of those okay let's mirror them about see here axis is our best axis okay we'll go with the front plane okay, for some reason it's not us. okay then we'll have to do it manually as well. But first, let's cut this and see how it goes. So let's go and extrude cut that. And if you remember, we said that our gap is five, but we don't need really to go all the way there because that will interact even with our inlet. So let's say... Yeah, seven. So that we just touch this side. Or you can choose until vertex, up to vertex, and choose until it reaches this side. See now it will cut all the way until it reaches this surface and it stops. So that it, it doesn't interfere with our inlet or channel or the part of of our crew. Okay. As you see now, problem is solved there, and there is no interference in here. So we we'll have just to go ahead and do the same thing here, and we'll have our cooling plate. Thank you.